Welcome back to my Euro trip vlogs. This time, my Finnish friend and I traveled to Rome by train. But we decided to stay in two hostels for a total of five nights. And after checking in and dropping off our stuff, we decided to head out to find lunch. Like half the things on the menu, they didn't actually have, which was very weird. You can't have this. You can have this. Or which this. one? I don't know. Mm, I'm telling you. Okay. Also, our waiter looked like Joaquin Phoenix, and then he was wearing like a butler suit, so it was a really ominous restaurant. Oh, SDQR. Wait, what do you mean there? Oh, you're right. It's everywhere. What the yeah, hell? You're in Rome. Basilica Papa de Santa Maria Maggiore. Ah, uh -huh. yes, Lizzie McGuire song for the Coliseum. Yes. Like, I take the video. Of course, you learned about it. Yeah. The audio here was very bad, but it was basically me saying, What the fuck? We also struggled, but in the end, we got e tickets to go to the Coliseum tomorrow. Also, it was actually breathtaking to be able to see all of these ancient ruins in the downtown of Rome. Like too much. Cause I think that I've been falling ever since that day out in the park. And I don't know if this is love, but maybe this could be the uh, your butt again. Oh! Aqua, aqua, water, water. I don't know if this is love or just a face. We'll go to Pantheon. No We're more stop. No more stop. They really put a lot of trust in Italian drivers by not putting a street light here. But also, there are actually barely any streetlights at all in Rome. I imagine walking across a six-lane street with just your confidence. Don't blame me for this, okay? My friend was hungry and suggested it. And I will say that the chicken wings were delicious. We're following a TikTok guide to do something fancy. No, it's closed. But yeah, you can see the Trevi Fountain, how it works. My friend is tired this morning from clubbing. I'm going to spend trips alone. Because I was alone, I was conned into the Ciao Bella, here's some flowers scheme. Like this guy gave me four roses, walked away, came back, and then asked me for money. So I only gave him one euro, and then he took two of his back. <laughs> When I'm taking stupid selfies and then I look up to the political building and there's a man just like looking at me. <laughs> so scary. So I went to this club called the Yellow Door with my friend 
and it was so bad. Like the music was okay, but the vibe was just not it. And they were not letting people in. They were like, oh yeah, you have to get this wristband. We should go to the bar. And the bar is like, no. Like they were like waiting for people to buy drinks. I think it was just like a con to get people to buy more drinks. And then I didn't because the other bartender so I just go downstairs again and I'll give you a, a wristband because it was in the guy's pocket the whole time. And yeah, we got those and then we went to dance. It was just not that great. I don't know. Like people were being weird. People were creepy. And my friend kept flipping her hair into my face and I was like annoyed with this. So I moved away from them so I could dance like behind them, like not in the circle. And they kept trying to pull me in and I'm like, no, I don't want to rub against all these sweaty people. <sighs> Also, I finally stopped getting lost and got to the Colosseum. Our tour guide was an archaeologist, so it was really cool learning about all the different uses of the Colosseum over time from him. During our Colosseum tour, I called my parents to get them to do the two-factor authentication so I could graduate. To get to my school email and then apply to graduate. Then we went looking for thrift stores and somehow got to a very not safe looking part of Rome. We came here looking for a thrift store and like everything in Italy, it's either like half the time it doesn't exist or it's not open. We have found two other options because I don't trust Apple Maps anymore. We think, we think that this is supposed to be a thrift store. So now we shall try walking back. The next day we woke up, packed our stuff, and headed off to our second hostel, which was much better than the first one. For that day's adventures, we decided to explore the Vatican. It was actually a Wednesday, so we could have met the Pope, but to do that you have to fax the Vatican and wake up early. Yeah, imagine walking into another country. Do we want to go to the Sistine Chapel? I don't know. I want to go to the garden, but you have to buy tickets to the Sistine Chapel too. Sad. And I asked the Swiss guard, and they just told me to go right and stuff in Italian. So darling, won't you fly with me? To the rainbow, to the stars of the Milky Way. Won't let you get all the stars you say. We can make it by the morning room. I'll take me on it all morning, talk as I do. I'll take you down the door, I'll take you down the night and the night. So darling, won't you fly with me? Let the dark and the shine in your eyes. Now we're going to the tobacco store to buy bus tickets.
our plan for today is to get breakfast and then go to this place our uh, friend at the hostel recommended Osteo Antica which is like some old like 2000 year old city like ruins Fisher yeah Fisher village Fort village will be cool Illegal activities. Illegal. I shall also. Oh my god, I'm so white. I shall also be illegal. Yeah, okay, let's play Floor is Lava starting now. For your safety, do not walk across what the top of the wall. Safety, yeah, we could. Watch your step. Oh my god. This place is really cool. Cool. This is so cool. It's like a street sign. Oh, I really like these arches. Oh, steps. I'm gonna meet with my friend who I've known since like kindergarten for lunch because he's also in Rome, so it's so random. And then I'm gonna have a free walking tour of my hostel, so there's a few of us. Also, the hostel washed our clothes, like mine and my friends together, even though usually you wash it yourself. I lost a sock somehow, and it's a sock that I like. And then I went to the washroom in the hostel, like the common one near the laundry machines. And my sock was there in the garbage, and I'm like, what the fuck? So I just have my sock in my bag. So depressing. Cool air blows a memento As I fall behind I'm so sorry for dreaming about the future Take apart all the good things Stripped away what's there to do In the morning I took the train to Salerno Which is where I would take the ferry to Positano on the Amalfi Coast I had no plans on this trip so I was peer pressured to go there Because my friend Amy kept seeing it on TikTok <laughs> It's so hot, I had to take off my sweater and put on sunscreen. Also, they tell old Italian men are really nice because they say hi all the time. Uh. 
I got Squid Game and Lemon. We'll see. Okay, okay, I understand how beautiful it must look as an observer, but trust me when I say that, the entire two days I was here, my legs were shaking. The stairs here are no joke. Another cat. Whoa, another cat. What the heck? I have been gone. So Ah, why is it here? Oh my gosh, they're so crazy. What the heck? Another cat. I literally left the other ones because there was a suspicious guy approaching. And then I saw there was like a group of British people, so I followed them. Now I'm not going the right way, but whatever. At least there are cars here instead of alleyways of stairs, just safer. Huh. Where are you? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, <laughs> okay, then. More crazy. Yeah. So, what are you Lemon cello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh yeah, also what a small world yesterday, one of the people I met at my hostel works for AngelList, like the place where you can try to apply to work at startups, and he writes the emails for them, like some of the emails, and it's really cool, and he's trying to learn how to code now, I think that's pretty nice. I think the key to living here and not climbing the stairs is by having a Vespa basically. Some sort of scooter helps you survive. <laughs> <laughs> 